Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm filming again outside. Hi everyone. I am officially 17 weeks today and I actually was debating whether or not to continue vlogging. I think that all of you who follow me on Facebook or just are on the Facebook community or are vloggers yourself, you have heard, I guess, some goings-ons. I don't really know the situation. I guess I, I was um, PM'd some information from fellow um, pregnant women and vloggers and just some friends on Facebook about an incident that happened um, regarding somebody's privacy and their safety. I have not heard specifics about who it was or what channel, so I don't know if it's completely true. Not saying that it's not true, but you know, but you can never be too safe. So I um, deleted a bunch of stuff. My word blog is now privacy protected, just only I can read it, just because there's some really personal stuff on there and I might have leaked some information of where I'm located. And so just to be safe, I closed that for now. Um, I also deleted some videos, not a whole lot of them, but I'm gonna keep my kids out of the videos as much as I can or keep it to a minimum. I'm not going to stop just because I think that when you put any information, whether it be on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or anything like that on the internet, even if it's, you know, private and it's your personal page, you're still, I mean, at risk. So I'm not going to live in fear. So <laughs> anyways, and I'd miss you guys all too much. Um, but I'm officially 17 weeks. I'm very excited to be finally at this stage. I shouldn't say finally, I guess I've been feeling great for the past two weeks, but I've done so much this past week. Ever since I got back from being sick in bed all week, I've just felt amazing. Um, I had my first physical therapy appointment yesterday for my sciatica. I, <sighs> I don't know, I'm pretty disappointed. They couldn't promise me anything at all. You know, they couldn't, they, they couldn't tell me, oh yeah, we're definitely going to fix you. I mean, I don't think any doctor or medical professional would do that or say that, but they said I'm pretty messed up. <laughs> so basically I have to just be very aware of my body. Um, I have to stop doing things if I feel like it's hurting or being too painful. Um, walking, which has really saddens me because I did walk a lot with my pregnancy with my son I did like a mile sometimes two miles a day to keep the weight off um, you know they said that that's probably not a good idea if my back does start hurting so the second my back starts hurting I'm supposed to just take it easy and I'm not supposed to sit for too long because if I sit for too long then that makes it worse too so it's kind of frustrating I'm also not supposed to do a lot of heavy work um, vacuuming is supposed to be really bad for me and I don't know if the sun is, if that works. Vacuuming's supposed to be really bad for me, and also, I'm gonna switch, I'm sorry. This is bad, but there. Um, and not carrying laundry baskets, obviously. So, I'm a clean freak, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. <laughs> if you follow me on Facebook, you already know that I broke that rule. I vacuumed this morning while holding my son because he just, he loves when I vacuum, but he does not like being on the ground or by himself. He's like a little like lemur when you, you start vacuuming. He just like claws onto you. It's kind of cute. But anyways, so there are some things that obviously I'm not going to be able to abide to, but I am going to be more aware of my body. Um, I have to go to physical therapy two times a week to get some adjustments and some, you know, all that good stuff. I don't know if that's going to be a possibility in the next few weeks because we have a lot going on. Um, some friends are getting married and then just I'm busy um, so I'm gonna try to go at least once a week for the next month and then I'll have to continue doing one to two times a week until the rest of my pregnancy or until I start feeling better so another thing that I was told is that I should not be wearing flip-flops flip-flops are really bad for you which I guess I knew that but it's just like I have really flat feet so I don't know um, about three years ago, I did purchase some Vibrams um, if you're not five fingers if you're not familiar with them they look like that um they should probably there you go they're really comfy I've had them for three years I've worn them year round even in the winter time I'll wear them um but I hadn't worn them for the past few months just because I couldn't find them and I 
started wearing them again this past week when we were doing a lot of walking around the zoo and stuff and even though I got a horrible suntan from them and they made my feet sweaty, I my back pain has been at the lowest it's been since I don't even remember. So I think I'm going to continue wearing them again. I did throw out my whole pregnancy with my son and it really helped. So I'm going to wear them again and just kind of nix the flip-flops as much as I can, even though I hate, 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 hate not being able to wear flip-flops in the summer, but I know that they're really bad. Um, some other stuff that's been going on with me, I mean, I feel great. I can't complain. Like, I have had no nausea. I've been eating a lot. Um, I've been having a few migraines here and there, but as long as I drink a lot of water and or have just a little bit of caffeine, whether it's like a little piece of chocolate or something, that usually goes away. Um, let's see, looking at my computer. I've had a lot of increased movement. Actually, the past three days, I couldn't feel the baby move. Um, and I was very aware of it. I wasn't going to freak out because it is still really early. I have felt the baby move for a very long time now, so it was a little bit disconcerting because I didn't have any, you know, I was feeling great, didn't have any pregnancy symptoms, and now the baby all of a sudden stopped moving. So, you know, my doctor's office was more than happy for me to come in at any point to get heart tones um, listened to, but I just didn't want to freak out because I know that it's normal at this stage for babies to kind of not be as active. So I wanted to wait. So I waited until yesterday and right after my physical therapy appointment, sure enough, like the baby was just like went crazy all yesterday. So, I mean, I could even see it moving through my stomach. So I'm, I'm good. Yeah. So the baby's good. Um, let's see what else. My sense of smell is still super sensitive and it's been really great actually. Like, I mean, I, well, not when I smell stinky things, obviously, but I've been doing a lot of um, planting and gardening and just, you know, the smell of flowers. I can just smell everything. I can smell, I made cupcakes last night just so that my house would smell like cupcakes. I mean, yeah, so that's still pretty intense. Um, I think that's, I have other eating more. Oh, my skin. I forgot how super sensitive. I had my son on June 30th, two years ago. So I was at my biggest all throughout half the summer. I forgot how stinking sensitive my son is, or my son, my skin is in the sun when I'm pregnant. I have like an olive tone, I'm Asian, so I have an olive tone, kind of deeper, darker skin color to begin with, and I never, ever, 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 ever burn until I was pregnant with my son. We went to Nevada, and I spent a lot of time outside. We used to have a pool, and I would just burn like crazy. And so this time I totally forgot that I was like that. We went to the zoo. I spent literally maybe one day outside and I got super duper burned. <laughs> like I was in pain. So actually I used my bio oil, which I still need to do my review on. And I've been lathering that up so that I don't peel. And it's like been a godsend. It's really helped. So yeah, sensitive, overly sensitive skin while I'm pregnant. And then my last thing is kind of embarrassing. And, I'd <laughs> and just because, you know, I promised I'd be completely honest in these vlogs, I will show you. But I have had an increase of hair growth and nail growth and all of that good stuff. But one spot where I've always had this increase of hair growth, which is just really disturbing, is on my belly. You know how you have that happy, everyone has a happy trail. I don't care who you are, you have one. Whether it's blonde and you can't see it or it's really thin, you have one. Mine gets really dark and grows faster when I'm pregnant, and it's so annoying. Like, I usually have it waxed, you know, like when I was pregnant with Wyatt, but I think this time, like, I'm just going to let it go and see. I mean, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'll just show you. It's, oh, my God. It's so gross. So, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, no. The sun is hitting it. If you can see this one hair, like, can you see that? Like, I don't know. If you can see this, it's like this long hair. I think the sun's in my way. I'm going to go over in the shade. Okay. So, I don't know. You can't see it, but I swear, it's just like this long, I have long hairs on my belly. It's really annoying. There you go. You see it? Well, whatever. I don't think you can. That was a waste. But anyways, I have these long hairs that are, are gross. And I'm just going to let them go because my husband doesn't care. And I just think they're funny. But 
Anyways, yeah, so that's me. I feel great and I feel really good and I will show you a belly shot real quick if I can. I don't know if you can see, but this is my 17 week belly. And again, my neighbors probably think I'm really crazy right now, but I don't really care. But I was going to show you some stuff because I'm really proud of myself. You can just call me Farmer Kelly. Um, which if any of you have any growing tips for me, I'd be more than appreciate it. But this is what I've been working on. These are all my wildflowers or my summer flowers that are perennial, so they'll come up every year. And they are just doing amazing. And my husband finished the borders for me. And my raspberry bushes are at the end, which they have, since I think I posted pictures, have like doubled in side, size. So I'm excited to have some fresh veggies or raspberries and then this is my above <sighs> garden bed and I have um, like three different types of tomatoes right there my peppers are in the center um, and then my cucumbers are right there and those are over there because I'm going to put a lattice up because they are climbers um, so that way they can hook on to the lattice and um, grow up them and then right around here is my squash and zucchini and then I have a cucumber, another different type of cucumber plant right here. And another squash that I need to find somebody to give to because I don't have room for them. And then my parsley and my rosemary are right here. So I am super excited about that because, well, I just... I would... So I totally dropped you guys. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm super excited about that because I really want fresh produce. And then there, my husband finished the borders there, and there, and then these things right here, and then the mailbox right there, we totally bought those for $30, everything together, off Craigslist. It was amazing. So my son has this like little playland back here. But yeah, so that's my little happy corner, as I like to call it. The sun is like horrible right now, so sorry. But anyways, that is about it for me. Um... I don't know, this video is kind of stupid and I don't even know if the lighting worked out. I'm going to have to rewatch it before I upload it, but I'm really lazy and I don't want to edit it, so sorry. <laughs> um, I guess I will talk to you all at week 18. I just pushed back my anatomy scan um, because it was scheduled for June 7th, but my husband can't make it and that's the only one he really wants to be at. Um, so since this is our last kid, I did, I am going to reschedule it. And I think I'm going to push it back another week or two just because with my daughter at 18 weeks, we found out that she was a boy and then she obviously turned out to be very much a girl. So I don't really want to live with that. Is it, is it, you know, isn't it for the rest of my pregnancy? Cause I think this will be one of my last ultrasounds if everything goes well. So I am probably going to push it back until probably about 20, 22 weeks just to, so we know for a fact. Um, and I'm not in any hurry. I'd be happy with either or. So it's kind of fun not knowing and kind of having this not, you know, being able to freak out. Because when you find out, I think when it's a girl or a boy, at least for me, I have a tendency to like everything becomes more real. You know, I start freaking out about every little thing. So right now it's just still kind of like a mystery baby who I don't have to freak out about quite yet. So anyways, um, thanks for watching. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Um, I am mailing my giveaway packages out today or tomorrow. I know I keep saying that, but I've been super busy outside, and I've been sick, and whatever, and you can just be patient. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hi to everybody new. Friend me on Facebook if you haven't. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye.